Bowie. Hi, kids. She's here. I was just going over the plan for the ice cream party, and it looks like you have picked up all the supplies. Yes, I think I've got everything that was on your clipboard. You had a good plan. Wow, awesome. Ice cream, sprinkles, whipped cream, I love it. Yes, it will be so much fun. Did you know that today we are learning about God and that he has a plan for us? Yes. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's right, Bowie. And we are going to be learning more about that today. Let's worship God and thank him and sing and dance. Everybody stand up. Let's hear your voices. He's the chosen one. He's the champion.
really fun. It's fun to see all the different ways we can move and dance. I agree, Bowie. We are all different and God has a plan for each one of us. Let's say this month's memory verse together. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Can I say it? Sure, Bowie, let's hear it. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Great job, Bowie. Now let's have Addie and Logan help us with the motions too. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's say that again. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. That was fun. Bye. Thank you, Logan and Addie. Well, I am so excited about today's story. We've been learning about a guy named Joseph. We can read all about Joseph in the Bible, and the Bible is true. That means that all of the things we read about really happened to real people. Joseph was a real person who lived a long time ago. And if you were here last week, you might remember that Joseph was in jail. Yes, I remember that. Joseph was put in jail even though he'd done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, Pharaoh, had some dreams that he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? Yep, cows. What do cows say? Moo! Mm -hmm. Exactly. Have you ever dreamed about cows, Bowie? No, I, I haven't. Dreaming about cows is kind of funny. So Pharaoh dreamed about seven cows. Let's count these cows in his dream together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cows. Pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? That's kind of strange. We make bread out of grain. Hey, we also make fish crackers out of grain. Yum, 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 yum. Pharaoh was confused by these dreams and he wanted to know what his dreams meant. So, drum roll please. He asked Joseph to help him. That's amazing! Hooray! Yes! So Joseph was brought out of jail straight to Pharaoh. Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams were from God. Wow! Joseph knew that God had given Pharaoh the dreams? Yes! And Joseph knew what those dreams meant. The dreams meant that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. That must have made Pharaoh happy. It did. It made Pharaoh very happy. He was so happy to know that his dreams meant that and that he gave Joseph a special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Wow, that was a really big job. God had a big plan for Joseph. Yeah, he did. And years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food, so they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. God's plan for Joseph was to help all these amazing people. What an amazing plan! God has a plan for us too, and God's plan is the best. Just like he did for Joseph, God has a plan for you. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me! Yes, it's true. God had a plan for Joseph, God has a plan for you, and God has a plan for me. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for these awesome plans that you have for us. Thank you that we can trust you and that you love us so much that you sent us Jesus and you have plans for our lives. Amen. Wow, I loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and he helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you got it, moo like a cow. Excellent. And Bowie, we're looking forward to your ice cream party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.